R E S P E C T R E S P E C T Find out what it means to me I don't care about my family You thought I was singing the, the song about you thought you thought this you thought this vlog was about respect didn't you And technically it is but no Did you hear the last part I don't give a fuck about family that's what the what that's what the fucking vlog is about And 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 you're saying what do you mean you don't care can I explain to you before you start talking out your stupid mouth? Can I explain first before you judge it? Let me finish my goddamn sentence and stop interrupting me for one second. See, I do care about family. Family is good. Family can be amazing. Unfortunately, in the hood, lots of families are not amazing. They're very, very bad, very disconnected. And I know a lot of people out there know exactly. You don't have to live in the hood, obviously. Lots of families are all fucked up and messed up and shit like that. Obviously, you know this. You're probably going through it yourself. I bet you can't even have a serious conversation with your family and share your thoughts with your family because they don't fucking either respect you or there's just some weirdness going on there. And I really hate that that's the case with a lot of family members and stuff like that. I wish there was more closeness, but that's how it is. But what I wanted to say about family is, you see, here's one thing that I don't dis that I have to disagree with with a lot of people. You see, just because you have some of my blood running through your veins, but everybody has blood running through their veins. That's why I like to treat everybody equally, and I feel like I can love anyone in the world. You understand? So just because you have my blood running through your veins, whatever doesn't mean I'm going to treat you fucking better. You understand? I may treat you a little bit better if I like you, I guess, because I'm like, oh, well, I was around you for so many goddamn years, so it makes sense. It's, it's just the fact that I'm around you for so long and you're my, my brother, my sister, whatever the fuck you are, it's like, oh, I, I have these, 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 blah, blah, blah. but I'm definitely, if you're a piece of shit and I don't like you, I don't give a flying fuck whether you're my family member or not. And there's a lot of people out there that still give these people chances, and I don't. I don't like you. I don't like you. It doesn't matter whether you're a family member or not because there's been strangers, literally people that I've met within two days that treated me better than you do. So I don't care whether you're my family or not. You get the fuck out of my life for all I give a fuck because I'm not that person that's like, we got to stick together because I'm family. And no, I don't got to stick together with you. If you backstab me or you're just a really rotten seed, I don't give a fuck about you. It's that simple to me. Now, if you come to me one day and you're like, I know I've been fucked up and all this stuff. Can we please rekindle our whatever the fuck? I'll be like, sure, I'll give it a shot. That's another story. But there's just too many people out there that don't understand that the people that quite disrespect you and look down on you the most can be your actual family. And that's the case. That's a, the case, that's the case a lot. A lot of times, even with your fucking brothers or sisters, you can't even talk to them most of the time. You're just like, I can't even talk to you. All you do is fucking laugh at me. You're just laughing. You don't even take me serious, do you? No, I don't. They don't give a fuck. Listen, you know how many times I've tried to tell family members, like, just give them a, like, like, even with health, I give you an example. Like, like, let's say your sister comes to you and she's like, oh, I'm trying to lose weight. I'm like, that's cool. Here, I could tell you exactly what you got to do to really help you weigh since all the stupid diet tips you've taken doesn't make any sense. It doesn't work for you. Let me tell you how you can do it. And I'll tell them intermittent fasting, obviously exercising, but everybody doesn't want to exercise. They just want to buy it. They want to buy something they drink and they think it's going to give them a diet because they're that lazy. And you know who I'm talking about. It, it, everybody's been lazy before, but that's the worst way to go about it. But uh, listen, you could tell them the absolute easiest way to do it, the best way, healthiest way to do it. They will never take your fucking advice ever. Do you even know how disrespectful that is to, and then, they, and then you hear them months later complaining about their weight or their diet. That shit to me just says so much to me. That means you could care less and, you're, and, 
and you can care less about my opinion, even though I'm trying to help you out the best, but you'll listen to everybody else. The only way that you'll do intermittent fasting is if J-Lo shakes her ass. Oh. She'll shake her ass, right? She'll be like, uh, intermittent fasting is good. And you'll be like, well, a celebrity said it's good, so now I'm going to try it. That's the way people actually think. That's how I know whether it's a friend, family member, or anything. If they never, ever, ever take your advice, never, ever, they don't give a fuck about your opinion. They don't respect you, not even a little tiny bit. This is the type of family members that I'm talking about that they could go to hell. Now I'm going to tell you an example of why. It doesn't matter if someone's your family member. Because they're going to backstab you. Most of the time, your family members are the one that actually treats you worse. That's the funny part. Because like I said, I've learned in my life that strangers have treated me better. But I'll give you an example. And I'm going to tell you... So, uh, 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 I'm going to give you... A, uh, makes me sad to say it. But I'm going to give you an example of my brother. And what he did to me one time. So, many years ago... When I was living with him by myself, and I haven't forgiven him for this, even though let me let me start from the beginning about this guy. Let me let me, let me start from the beginning. I'm not gonna say his name or anything, but he's he's my brother, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna explain something to you, to you. He used to always come over, used to always chill with me, used to always be cool with me. Then one day, all of a sudden. He stopped being cool with me. Do you want to know why he stopped? He started to treat me differently? Because he noticed I was different. And when I say different, I mean he's into hip-hop and he's, if you want to call him ghetto, whatever. He's into, I'm into hip-hop as well, by the way. So, you know. But what I'm saying is he's into hip-hop, all this stuff. I'm into it too. But he saw that I got into rock and roll music oh no he's weird now so he started treating me like i'm a fucking weirdo or all of a sudden he started treating me differently literally because of the music i listen to literally i guess because i play guitar now i guess i'm not your brother anymore i'm just a fucking weirdo and i and obviously i'm the black sheep of the family whatever you want to call it well probably not the only one but what i'm saying is i'm definitely the 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 one that's a lot different, whatever the fuck you want to call it. But he specifically started to treat me like shit. Just didn't care about me anymore, really. Didn't talk to me anymore. And then he would wonder why I dislike him. But here's the number one thing he did to me. While I was living with him, and it was just me and him living together, you know, just me and him. Here's something that I wouldn't... It just, it, just the thought of it just makes me sick to my stomach. Because even strangers on the street, I would do this for. This guy, literally, one day, and I, I, I was hungry. I didn't have any food. There was no food in the house or anything. At the time, I didn't really have money that much, really. I, did, I just didn't have money. I didn't know what to eat. There was nothing in the house. I was probably eating ramen. I don't know. This motherfucker had some hoe in his room. Some stupid slut, right? He orders Chinese food. Which he did before, but this time it really pissed me off because he had a hole in the room. He ordered Chinese food. I went to the kitchen. He only ordered Chinese food for him and his and that girl. I was going to say his girl, not even his girl. He only ordered Chinese food for them. They didn't even ask me if I was hungry. They didn't even ask me, hey, man, would you like something from the Chinese food? He literally just bought it for him and him. And I went to the kitchen. Guess what? He just took the food right in front of me. And he just went into the room. He didn't even ask me, hey, would you like some of my food? Because you see, there's one thing if you forget. Hey, and I'm talking about this for anybody because I would feed any. I, you don't have to be my fucking brother to feed you. I make sure that you're, I would never leave someone hungry, even a stranger on the street. I would give food to but he didn't even say hey would you like some of my food because maybe you can forget oh for fuck i did i forgot to ask him because he was because he, he was high at the moment but he's like maybe maybe i for, i forgot to ask him let me share because that's what i would do i'll be like god damn it i did i forgot to ask you now i'm going to share my food with you fuck it here 
or I'll even order again. I'll be like, you know what? I'm going to order your own food now. I made a mistake. I'm too fucking high. I don't know what it is. Let me order your food. But this motherfucker didn't even ask that question. After that day, I said, not only do I not, not only do I don't give a fuck about you, I don't even want to talk to you really anymore. And he knows it too. He knows. He's actually asked my mom before, why doesn't a criminal like me? And I'm like, if you don't know why, well, oh well. But I'm just letting you know that when when people are so about family and stuff like that, it's not as great as you think it is. And I don't give a fuck. I've been treated better by strangers before. So that whole family, family, no, no. I actually have friends that I consider my fucking family. I make my family however they want it. And the people in my family know who the fuck I love. You know who I love so you don't have to ask me. You don't have to ask me who I actually love and care about. Okay? You don't got to ask me. You know. And that same thing goes for my friends. Even the friends. Even the friends that think that, well, even the friends that I don't hang out with that much anymore and stuff. And even those friends that I don't even want to ever hang out with again. You know who you are. I still love you anyways. I still want the best for you. And I hope that everything you get in your life is great. And I hope everything goes well for you. That's the funny part. I hope everything goes well for you. That's what I had to say about family. It was really... I. It's hard to even share that story with you because it's fucked up. There's more fucked up stories with him in that situation. But that, to me, that was the last straw. That was the last straw. Okay? That was the very last straw. You know damn well I like to drink my yoo with a straw and you took the very last one you put it in there you zipped it in front of me instead of offering me that straw fuck you you piece of shit okay you could have even got a double straw you know those double straws that have two straws we could have drank it together look into each other's eyes which is very very awkward to be looking into your brother's eyes while you're drinking it but you're still drinking and you're thinking in your head oh my god if he wasn't my brother i would fuck him you know what i don't even care if he's my brother let's fuck uh 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 I just came inside my brother. What the fuck? Yo, bro, are you going to have my baby? No, I can't have babies. I'm a, I'm a boy. Okay, that's cool because that'll be fucking weird to have a baby with your brother. Then when the when the son comes out, what the fuck is it? He's my son and my, and my nephew at the same time. Like, what the fuck is going to go on? I don't know what's happening here. Subscribe. Thank you for watching my video. Subscribe. Thanks. Uh, family. It can be. But it's most of the time.